to leave Already packing Come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't We women daily celebrate the art of making a house to home. Like the rising sun brings a new day in our lives, a new opportunity to embrace, we women get ready to accept the joys and hardships of homemaking. Regular tasks can never take a back seat when you wish to give a clean environment to your family. One such task is to maintain hygiene in the most rigorously used area, that is, our bathrooms today i will take you all through a routine that i follow to clean my bathrooms daily by the end of the day bathroom turns to a mini wardrobe my first task is to toss all the cloths out of the space and put them for laundry then i organize the space a little i will quickly straight up personal bath toiletries i'll make sure my toothbrush and toothpaste are cleaned up and put back to its space when my counters are covered in clutter and I have junk throughout the bathroom, it becomes virtually impossible to clean quickly. Let's be honest, there is always something on the counter. Now, I pay attention to the wash basin. I keep this natural loafer handy and with just a little hand wash, I try to get rid of any food deposits on the wash basin. The water quality is sometimes a big challenge to keep the space sparkling. Remember, this is a quick cleaning routine and not a deep one. You can adapt this daily habit to keep your bath space clean and tidy. Washing the dispenser is occasional and not always so you can skip if you don't want. I'm not trying to be perfect here because I'm time bound, yet it has to be clean. Remember, with kiddos, cooking, taking care of other mundanes and working for the challenge, I'm not trying to get rid of months dirt and grind here. The whitest deposit on the granites take a lot of scrubbing time, so it's obvious I won't focus on that for now. Then with a cloth, I give the counter a good wipe to keep it dry. quickly clean the mirror. I keep the designated microfiber cloth and glass cleaner under the sink for the mirror. It's easier to get toothpaste platter off if it doesn't sit for days. So I just lightly spray the cleaner or you can dampen the microfiber cloth and give the mirror a quick wipe. Now I'm done with this dry zone. Key to wind up your job within the time limit is to have your stuffs handy, else you will procrastinate the job. It has happened to me, so sharing a little gyan with my community. Moving to the wet zone, here I focus on the wall tiles of the shower area and floor scrubbing. Squeeze out the excess water and then just scrub the floor tiles using my legs. Squeeze out the excess water and give it a wipe to keep it dry. I keep this mop handy here and use a little shampoo solution in the bucket. 
This not only keeps the mop clean, it also prevents the mop from turning brown. Some helpful tips for you all. Always keep your exhaust fan on when you work in your wet zone. If you can stick to this cleaning routine, you will finally have the clean bathroom that doesn't leave you scrambling when company comes. The days that I am in a huge rush, I simply put away everything used and wipe the sink and counter off. That alone can be done in just one minute and will make a huge difference. The best thing of being a homemaker is, I have control over my home, the atmosphere and the vibes. All you need to do is to choose how you want to see your space. After a very long time, my friends decided to have a potluck party and it was exciting in itself. I decided to try a new recipe. The schedule for rest of the day had to take a back seat. I'm making stuffed brinjal curry South Indian style but with a twist. I'm not going to stuff them. Let me take you through what I did. As soon as you cut the brinjals, put them in salt water to avoid discoloration. I cut them into 4 pieces. Add 2 tablespoons of corn flour and salt. Lightly coat all the brinjals. Then I will make the base ready. Ingredients as shown. Roast the peanuts until they turn golden. Then add rest of the ingredients and slightly roast them. Remember, keep the flame low while roasting and don't leave them unattended as burnt masala will spoil the dish. Allow them to cool down. Make a fine paste. Just look at the texture. A spoonful of paste to the marinated brinjals. Mix it well and deep fry them. Frying will cook the brinjals and the flavors will blend into it nicely. Let's make the gravy ready now. Heat a pan. I am using the same hot oil that I used to fry the brinjals. A spoonful of zeera. 
one whole chopped onion and let it cook for 2 minutes. Adding salt will prevent onions from burning. Now add the masalas, haldi powder, red chilli powder, dhania powder and jeera powder. Give it a good mix. Add a little water to prevent burning of masalas and cook it in a low medium flame. Once the onions absorb the flavors, add the gravy paste. Cook it in a low to medium flame for 6 to 7 minutes. Add water and cook for 4 minutes more until the raw smell of the masala subsides. On the other side, I have kept the tamarind juice ready. Once oil separates, it's time to add the brinjals and coat them well with the masala. Add water, cover and cook for few more minutes. At the end, add the tamarind juice and the dish is done. We all were looking forward to the giggles and memories we will be making today. There is a saying, laughter is brightest where food is best. Don't go away, you are welcome to witness the happy moments too which we shared together. We are left with three more months to wind up the year 2022. When I look back, I see my progress along with the hardships, the challenges I faced. Creating contents are quite overwhelming at times. We are often caught up in the ever-increasing speed of daily life that threatens our mental health, self-identity and human connections. I pause as and when needed. It affects my growth, but then I console myself. Not every person is sane. Not every person's goal is to achieve. Some love to create, some love to live with the flow and I am doing just as I am. I am thankful to each one of you who trusted me, who thought my contents are worth watching and joined Mom Through Lens community. I wish this tribe grows more and more. 
please consider dropping your thoughts and inputs below in my comment box. It pays off the hard work engrossed in executing a piece of content. Well, shutting off my camera for the next week as Ruhi is having her term exams going on. See you soon till then. Take care and be festive ready. Bye-bye.